All right, guys, for today's first place deck profile, we have Noah with his Brave Hero PK deck. So how'd you feel about today? Uh, smaller crowd, so competition is a little lighter, but my first 4-0, my first XO ever at Dream Wizards. I'm actually surprised about the small crowd for once because usually we are packed with like 40 yeah, plus even people. Even on Thursdays, we usually got like at least, we still play four rounds, but we usually have around 18. I think 18, we had like 30-ish or 30 yeah. plus players yeah. at best today, but nonetheless, you're top. First time. Yep, well, let's get started on that deck profile. Sure, so... Brave, Hero, PK. So we're just gonna go order of the engines. Yep. Starting with the Brave, there's three waters, the Griffin, three rights, Fateful, Draco, and of course the Fish. Okay. Right, so just the usual 10. Um, they always say Hero needs an Omni Negate, so we're forcing it with the Brave engine. Yep. Just the usual crowd, 10 Brave cards. The Hero engine, have one Denier, too malicious. Hero players will know this is the better way to summon DPE. Not only are they the right targets, but they give you recursion for the follow turns. Shadow Mist, that's being sent off Vion, which will also banish Shadow Mist to search for Polly. And my big spice for today Bristinatrix. Elemental Hero Bristinatrix. So, All cards Bristinatrix. Bristinatrix came up three times today. Uh, very, very good. The reason why. You'll see in a bit, being level 3 is very important. Most importantly, she's summonable off a of hero list. Let's take a look, trying to find elemental heroes that fit this requirement. Apparently there's only four. One of them's not a warrior. The other one's Avion, which is fine. There's a very small reason why Bersinatrix is a tiny bit better. So we run three of hero lives to cheat out Bersinatrix. Two fusion destinies to sack people. I drew into this four times today in my opener. A little bullshit, and then Polly Mash Change. Polly is searched off the Vion to make a DPE. Mash Change is very, very rare where I can, a hero lives out Shadow Mist instead. If I have everything else I need, I can just cheat out Shadow Mist, get Mash Change, make Dark Love. But it doesn't really ever come up, but it's a sacky one of, like a lot of the stacks, so. Nonetheless, this worked out really well for you. Yeah, it's the hero engine. All right, the last part, the PKs. So the usual suspects. Three Torn Scales, three Boots, obviously the best opener is Boots Torn Scales, summon one, summon the other. The third best normal summon, Ancient Cloak, to cheat out either Ragged Gloves or Stained Greaves. Ragged Gloves, I want to take this card out. Um, it should come up more, but I'm not playing Levier. I, sometimes I am, I'm not playing it today, um, so it doesn't really come up too often. Uh, does come up is three Cogamish Um I think there's better options. Arborea will be really good. Spell Striker will be really good. But for now, I'm playing Cogamish Knights. It's not to chain block any normal summon effects, but it's just to be a level three body on the board. It's a warrior, it's a level three. That's what's important here. Uh, the three Fog Blades. One's to summon, one's to set off the Rusty, and then of course, Shade Brigandine, which I'm borrowing from Dream Wizards. Thank you, Jack. Um, this is what helps me make one of my links, which I'll get to. I sold. It's a warrior, it's a monster, so we play it to extent. Yep. That's the PK package. Just here to cheat out the Brave Engine and to be warriors to summon I sold. Uh, the rest of the deck is all mostly utility. Um, I didn't play sort of the usual lower impact hand traps like Ash because as a 60 card deck, you're only going to draw one of them realistically, so it's got to be a good one, which means I'm playing three Drolls in the main for the PK or for the Punk decks. Three droplets for literally everything, but especially the Scythe Lock. Also for the Scythe Lock, three main deck Dark Willow number. Um, most of the Scythe Locks occur in the main phase now. Hockey Fibrex, I'm in TG. So this stops that, unless they have the Red Dragon Archfiend plays, uh, but very few people are doing that. One cold deck, as it's called by, and then the three evenly match. Uh, shout out to Carl. These three were other cards that are in my side deck now before today. Uh, he convinced me to play more going second cards, so I dropped in the three evenly match. Uh, came up once in a game one, but that's about it. Uh, everything else, just good quality. Try not to lose if I'm going second type cards. This is a going second deck in particular? It's a going first deck, but it's very, very bad going second against locks especially, so I put those in to be able to go second. And the rest can is just, potentially work yes, going second. Can. The rest are just one of that are needed for the engine. Of course. Scythe to Scythe lock. Fire Flint's very important. Um, if I draw 
not that one. Durandal. Um, this is these are the equip spells that I'm sending uh, with I sold. If I draw Durandal, um, I can just play it, search for Fireflint Lady, special summon out Fireflint Lady if I have a warrior, and she turns into I sold for me. So uh, the other equip spells are just the usual good ones. Uh, Phoenix Blade. I keep forgetting about this effect to just recur it, just for card advantage. I gotta, I gotta remember that. DDR is insane. Uh, playing against MBT, shout out to MBT. Uh, I banished Torn Scales and brought it back with DDR, used its effect, and then sent it for chair beating. Uh, pretty nice. And then Living Fossil because it's Living Fossil. Last one, Rota because it's a Warrior deck. Um, so that's the 60. Again, these seven are just the engine cards that you need. Yep, 60 card main deck. 60 card main deck. And you want to go side or extra first? No, we can go extra first. Extra first? Sure. The extra deck. The first link I'm gonna make almost every game, Cherry Beanie. Like, okay. Insane card. Um, yeah, Cherry Beanie's ridiculous. Uh, shout out to Kevin who's, who's, who's recording. Um, Cherry Beanie protect your tokens from token collectors. So if you always put the brave token in the far right column under Cherry Beanie, they can token collector and it's fine, but it doesn't destroy the token because of Cherry Beanie's effect. Uh, so it's broken, sends uh, Brave Engine. Rusty, because it's rusty. Um, this has baited a lot of people to negate early because I don't really care about Rusty's effect. It's mostly just to get a Fog Blade for the next turn, but I don't really need it because what I'm really trying to get to is my two Ice Souls. I don't really need to. This should be a Levy Air, but I forgot to bring it today. Um, but Ice Soul is the heart and soul of this deck. On summon, I search Destiny Hero Denier, and then I send four equip spells to cheat out Vion. Vion will send Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist will search me Malicious. Vion will banish Shadow Mist to search me Poly, and that's how I make DP every game. So, uh, I think the Predator Plant engine, where you just sort of search Fusion Destiny, is fine too. But I prefer doing this. Dagda, because it's Scythe. Dark, because it's dark, and most of the monsters in this deck are dark. This card did not come up today, but it's very funny. What Goki, is the power that? Level so, Goki's, I didn't realize, is a very generic linked monster. It's just warrior monsters. So, there are times where I'll be interrupted early in my combo, and I can't really do much else. But if I can get I sold and some warriors on the board, I just turn them into Goki on pass. Hopefully they can't get over 2800, can't be affected by card effects. Um, wow. Did not come up today, but it's it's kind of like a it's like a plan C if nothing else. That works. is a funny spice tech yes, if you were to ever play it, but that's a good uh, spot filler. I came up when I was practicing with Carl, but it didn't come up today during tournament. Gotcha. Um, Apo, this is my one of my end board monsters. I make Dag to I sold, turn these into Apo for a 1600 uh, two effect negates. Two negates it's yeah. not that important, but it's important to set up a negate before Griffin so that if they nid, negate with Apo. If they imper, negate with Griffin. Um, and then the rest is just the nightmares. So Phoenix Unicorn. Their goal is to turn into access code. Uh, that's my game ender on turn three. Break Sword. Uh, this card doesn't come up a whole lot with this build. Summoning it to trigger Bardiche on turn three is kind of nice. My turn one combos, I want to mix in Levier a lot. Uh, I just haven't found out the way to do it. I'm sure there is a right way to do it, though. Um, DPE, because it's ZP, I can cheat it out with I sold. Dark Law for the random one in every ten games where I can get mass change off. Uh, I did hard open mass change. It's, there's only one in the 60 card deck. I did hard open it against MBT both game one and two, so it's kind of, I kind of sacked them. But, uh, yeah. And then the last one that came up a lot today, Guardian Chimera. So if I'm going second, or I go first and I have another way to get to DPE, Guardian Chimera is very, very good as a follow-up. Why I can search the poly, but I'm not locked to anything yet, so I can just poly with the Destiny Heroes in my hand if those are the ones I searched, or any other monsters with the Vion, make Guardian Chimera, draw two, fix my bad hands, draw into my utility, uh, all that good stuff. So this card came up a lot. I think I summoned them four times today. DPS summoned five times. But, yeah, Guarding Chimera is uh, nuts. Card's nuts. Yeah. Especially when it can't be targeted with poly and gray, yep. which you usually have because you're using the heroes. poly to summon it out, so yep. he can't be targeted. Thanks to uh, Shadow Mist or Vion? Uh, thanks to Vion. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Uh, my tokens, and then the side deck. Um, I don't know that it performed very much at all today. Red Reboot, I don't really know why I'm playing this. Uh, I'm scared of Dynamorphia. Shout out to Karen. Or just scared of Dimensional Barrier? No, I don't really mind D Barrier. It's just like the general like Floodgate Traps. Like, Anti Spell is really annoying. Yeah. Um, Gozen's really annoying for this deck, mm -hmm. uh, but also just like Elvish. I, we haven't played a whole lot. Of, there hasn't been a whole lot of Elvish in a while, but fortunately, uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's that can be annoying. Anti spell. Speaking of the devil, uh, card's broken. Um, I flipped this during standby phase. I usually scoop. Uh, most decks nowadays can't play against this. Really, really insane card. Speaking of which, Twin Twisters, my out Tanti spell. 
Feather Duster, my out to random backward decks. Again, shout out Dynamorphia players. Hate that deck. Playing the Harpies to deal with it. DD Crow. Um, card is very, very generically good. There's just a lot of decks like Striker gets beat up by this. Despio, of course, gets beat up by this. Even Swordsail, because a lot of them now are going to Boxy combo, gets beat up by Crow. Um, so I, I couldn't think of another high impact, you know, going second card like the 12 in the deck. So I went with Crow. And if you banish it, uh, their 10 it helps too. Right. And Nibiru, I would like to run, but I don't think without running a second hand trap and playing 60 cards, it's just like it doesn't come up enough. Yeah. The rest of the deck is random utility cards if I'm going first or second against certain decks. So there's Plasma and Stratos. If I'm going second against a deck that will set up early negates and then I can just summon Shadows, cheat out Plasma when they don't expect it. Um, a lot of times they'll leave the Brave Token on the board, so that's a monster I can contribute for Plasma. Uh, doesn't come up a whole lot, but it's there. These were in the main deck. These are the three, uh, these two and Duster were the three cards that I took out for the uh, evening match before I started today. Um, the other two are Dark Angel. Uh, hero players know all about this card now. Um, it's just a floodgate that says you can activate, or you can activate spells, they're just negated when they resolve. Um, card's good, but it's a Link Karibo for anybody that plays it. Uh, for anyone who plays a Link 2, if you just normal summon one, now it's a Link 2. So it's it comes up very situationally against mostly just Despia. Anybody else, maybe Flunderies too, but everybody else, you don't want to play that card. Mm. And then the last one is Lancia, again, Flunderies. Um, it's a better option than Scythe, obviously, against other decks too. It's a turn 2 Dagda or turn 3 Dagda. Um, that's a, bit, a little bit better than Scythe against some decks. So side deck wise, um, I think these probably just come out entirely. Maybe Dark Angel 2, and I'd probably throw in some other Lightning Storm, some other really strong going second card. Just again, I need more just blowout cards in the 60 card deck. Uh, but that's the deck. Um, engine's crazy. I sold is crazy. It's literally what, like a plus four with heroes. Um, so love this deck. Uh, shout out to Yufei Zhu, I think his name is. Uh, I, I was watching his profile, South American Tournament. Um, I did some adaptations like that for uh, but most of the core was his idea, so shout out to him. Uh, but, you know, really hyped. 4 0 today, first time ever. A deck that I really enjoy playing. Shout out to all hero players. Um, and yeah, so thanks to Kevin for the profile. Yep. And the last time, I'm glad you had fun. All right, oh, guys, for sure. If you like my content, be sure to check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, check you out later.